All right, production of an Apple TV series starring Natalie Portman uh, was on pause. The show was yeah. set to start filming in Baltimore last week, but police say two men tried to extort money by threatening crew members. The production company says filming is moving forward with extra security. Now, this is part of the set for the Apple TV series mm -hmm. Lady in the Lake, which is based on the Laura Lippman book about an unsolved murder and a housewife who reinvents herself as, <clears throat> excuse me, an investigative journalist. And mm -hmm. Laura Lippman is from Baltimore, and so mm -hmm. having it be set in Baltimore. But according yeah. to multiple news uh, sources, it has resumed filming this right. week, but with Added with that security. extra security. It sounded like there was a crowd around them on Friday when this happened and that a couple yeah. people came up and were asking for $50,000. $50,000. threatening to or, hurt the, the crew. Right. The crew. And I was talking to my husband because he remembers when The Wire, uh, David Simon's The oh, Wire, was right. filmed in Baltimore. And he said, you know, he remembers hearing a lot of those same stories. And David Simon sent out a message saying, you know, we yeah. shot over 200 hours of film in Baltimore. Uh, he said nobody threatened them, but there was always the ones that were loud and trying to make a yeah. scene and cause problems. Disrupt the shoot. Um, I think he was trying to keep this this dark spot off of Baltimore. Yes, because it doesn't look very. That's what no. we were reading in several articles <laughs> this morning. That doesn't sound very not good, helping right? for the image of Baltimore. Yeah, so, but we're glad that they're back filming. Yes, absolutely. All right. Also in movie news, the first full trailer for Wheeler. For Weird, the Al Yankovic story is out, and it features Evan Rachel Wood as Madonna, looking just like Madonna. Yes. It has Rain Wilson as Dr. Demento, and Daniel Ratcliffe, my favorite, as Weird <laughs> Al. It's in a parody of both Yankovic's real life and then the music biopics. The film will debut on the Roku channel November 4th, which this has gotten so much attention. Oh, I thought it was goodness. coming to theaters, but it's just coming out on Roku. Just on Roku. It's yep. going to be at like the Toronto Film Festival, I believe, okay. and then it's going to go to Roku. But you look at that that cast. I mean, you've got yes. Harry Potter. You've got Evan Harry Rachel Potter. Wood, like you said. You can't get away from it. And I'm so curious. I don't know a lot about Weird Al. I know exactly. a lot about his music and the parodies that he did. So it's right. going to be fun to kind of see um, see this role. And then to see Daniel Radcliffe in such an interesting yeah. role. Yeah. It just the trailer alone and seeing his it's outfits gonna be in fun. the position, <laughs> like the sets, that's going to be cool to see. All right. The first day of fall is still three weeks away, You're Ellen. Kidding. Sorry about that. It's three on its weeks? way. But a fall favorite returns to Starbucks today. I'm sure you've seen people posting about it. Yes. The pumpkin spice latte will be available nationwide today. Now, prices depend on your location, but Starbucks does say the prices for the pumpkin spice latte are up roughly 4% compared to Ooh. last year. Some other That's fall favorites are also returning today, including the pumpkin cream cold brew, apple crisp macchiato, and the apple crisp oat milk macchiato. Mm -hmm. The apple crisp is my favorite over the pumpkin oh, I've never spice. Tried it. Thing is, everything's going up. They yes. didn't have to, you know, they would still sell no matter what. Right. right. I thought it would have been cool if Starbucks, like, kind of kept it the same price. No, no they're going to sell them no I matter know. what, so let's raise the price. It doesn't matter if it's 10 bucks or 5 bucks. They're going to sell it. They're too sweet for me. I've never really liked these, but as I was telling you, Kristen, I'm ready for this season. So this is just, of course, always the first marker that we're heading into that fall Have you tried any season. of the, like, the Apple Crisp ones or the I Apple? I just don't like, no, I no? don't like them. No, I haven't tried the Apple Crisp. Oh, yeah. I, those those are good. It's like, like at the holiday. Cider. They're so sweet. Yeah. The holiday drinks. Yeah. I'll have one and then I'm good That's for it. the rest of the time. But yeah. get ready to shell out some money. <laughs>